Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Dog and Maximus the Righteous Steed coming at you from this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. What's happening, everybody? Hope you're doing well. It is Monday morning right now for the Ren Diggity Dog. Oh, what better way to start a week than playing some Minecraft? Am I right, my friends? Of course, if you're from the future, it's no longer Monday. And, uh, well, I hope the future is doing okay. Hello, future viewer from Randog in the past. Uh, what's going down, guys? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, listen, it's Monday. It's a new week. And, guys, I thought we would kick off this week of Minecrafting with a little bit of exploration. I've got my bling-blang armor on. i got a whole bunch of sweet stuff in the inventory. And what I thought we would do today is maybe kick things off with a bit of exploring. A lot of you guys have been saying in the comments, Ren, you've been crafting, you've been working your butt off in the mole hole. Let's go and do some exploration. It's been a while since we've gone on a bit of a journey, isn't it? And uh, the mole hole is looking absolutely amazing there in the distance, isn't it? Or the mole shire, rather. So sweet, man. I love this base so much. It's so epic. Uh, now, guys, I've been a little bit reluctant to go exploring because we've got a brand new Minecraft update coming up pretty soon. The update aquatic. And this update is going to change quite a lot of things in Minecraft. Most importantly, it's going to be changing the oceans a lot. And the more oceans that we load, the less new oceans we will get in the update. Because the update is not going to update already loaded oceans. So I don't want to do too much exploring before the update. But what I thought we could do today is venture northwards, right? If we have a look at the map of the Molshire area right now, let's get it into the offhand. I'd like to go north to the left up there and see what's happening uh, in the north. Maybe we can find another village or, more importantly, maybe we can find a couple new animals to take back to the Molshire. There's still quite a few animals we haven't discovered in, in this series yet, like llamas and polar bears and a whole bunch of others. And I'd love to get me an animal to bring back to the Molshire over here. So, let's do some exploring today, guys. If we have a bit more time, we'll carry on working on rain fried chicken in the Molshire. But I'm very keen to do some exploring. So, I've got a couple things in my inventory here. Let's start things off by making a brand new map, a nice fresh map that we will use to have a look at what we explore today. And I also want to make something called a lead, which is made with string and a bit of slime edge. And we can use a lead to drag an animal back to the Molshire if we do find, in fact, an animal that we need. Uh, take an example from this particular sheep over here. Hello, sheep, what's happening? We can actually tether that sheep with the lead and we can drag that sheep's little body hole wherever we want uh, to take the sheep. So if we find a llama or something epic, we'll be able to get it back to the mole hole. Sheep, you are not going to come back though because we got quite a few sheep and I am thinking about slaying you. But you know what? It's Monday. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining in Minecraft. It's not really shining in England though, my friends. It's a little bit miserable up in this business at the moment. But that's okay. I get to play Minecraft with you guys. So that's pretty sweet. All right. So I've got a shield also. I've got the jank blade. We've got Rambo. Got a bucket of water just in case some torches and some delicious rain fried chicken. And of course, we got Maximus the Righteous Steed. We got everything we need to do some exploring. Let's head off in that direction. See what we can discover and uh, we probably want to take the bed and the crafting table with us right just in case the sun is sort of halfway up the sky so we're gonna have to sleep at some point and uh, yeah let's start heading north man this is gonna be awesome I really hope we can find a llama today guys that would make me very very happy um, I've never actually captured a llama in, in Minecraft before and well llamas are pretty cool they don't really do much other than spit at you and I think you can ride them <laughs> or something but yeah a llama would be great to find oh there are pigs here we don't really have we, any pig action yet, do we? I, I think we've only got one pig, right? We, yeah, we probably need to maybe drag a couple of pigs back to the mole shy. That, that might be a plan. But I want to find more interesting am animals and some bacons. Something more interesting than a tasty freaking bacon face animal. Or something. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm super happy today, man. Really, really inspired. Very pleased with life in general. This is episode 60 of this series. Guys, can you believe it? We're on episode 60 already in this first season of Minecraft Survival. We're going to be playing all the way up to episode 100 for season 1 and then we'll start season 2. Uh, and for those of you, you who are wondering, yes, season 2 will be from the same world. We're not going to restart. We're just going to carry on playing from this world for as long as we feel like it. Man, my first Minecraft Survival series here on YouTube lasted about 450 episodes. So for those of you guys who are perhaps worried about this 
this series ending at the end of season one. Oh, you don't have to worry, man. We're going to get a few hundred episodes under our belt before we even think about ending this series. But 60 episodes, guys. Wow. It is, it's truly amazing to me, you know. And it's sort of times like this that uh, sort of make me reflect a little bit on how crazy the last five years of my life have been, or the last five or six years of my life have been. It's it's been a, a pretty much a roller coaster ride, man. It's it's been insane. It's been about five years or so, five or six years ago, since I started doing YouTube or trying to follow the YouTube dreams, so to speak. And there's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs, and it's really been one of the most crazy experiences of my entire life. But at the same time, it is the best time of my entire life. Like these past six years have just been absolutely incredible. Being able to uh, produce content like this that you guys enjoy out there and, and that about 10,000 people watch every single time I upload one of these episodes. It truly is a, a humbling and amazing experience for me. One that I am very, very proud of. And, uh, you know, when I first started doing YouTube about five or six years ago, I never could have imagined that we'd be almost at 200,000 subscribers subscribers here on YouTube. I mean, 200,000 subscribers is crazy. Like, that's the population of a small freaking city. You know what I mean, guys? And uh, it truly blows my mind. You know, I'm just a normal dude. There's ain't nothing special about the Ren Diggity Dog. I'm just like any of you guys out there. I love playing Minecraft. I, you know, I wake up in the morning. I have breakfast. I, <laughs> I you know, I, I do all the normal human things. But at the same time, uh, we've got such a great thing going on here uh, on YouTube and on Twitch. It's just, oh man, it's just remarkable to me. So uh, this episode, I think I'm going to dedicate to everybody out there who has been watching the series and who has been supporting me over these years. Uh, man, so many of you guys have been with me since the very beginning. You're still here. Obviously, you know, tens of thousands of people who used to watch me don't watch me anymore. And that's totally cool, man. You know, people get bored uh, of, uh, you know, entertainers or content producers and they move on and find other ones. And that's totally fine, man. I'm totally down with that. And, and uh, you know, that's just how YouTube goes. But man, I just want to say a massive of thanks to all of you guys who are stuck with me. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, by the way, it looks like we've got to the edge of the map here. So let's crank open our brand new fresh map uh, and have a look at what this, this new chunk looks like here or this new map chunk looks like anyway. Jeez, what am I doing? There's <laughs> beds and stuff in my hand. Maximus, don't go anywhere, my dude. Let's crank this map open. Ooh, that's looking pretty cool. I think we need to make this map a little bit bigger, though, don't we? If we want to see what's going on around here. But we're going to need some paper. So we're going to have to collect some sugarcane and stuff for that. I'm not really seeing anything too interesting out here. Although this is quite a beautiful area. We've got a couple of really nice horses here. I mean, we got Maximus the Righteous Steed. We don't have a proper horse yet in the series. So at least we know where to get them. And look at that spotted horse over there. Oh, that's a beauty. That's an absolute beauty over there. Uh, Maximus is getting a little bit jealous, though. Look at him. Look how angry he is right now. Don't worry, Maximus. I'll never leave you, my dude. I'll never leave you. You're my righteous steed for life, okay? Uh, but maybe we, we need to get a couple of horses in to the Molshai just to complete the place a little bit, right? Probably should have brought a little bit of paper with me now that I think about it. Um, I didn't realize that, of course, we would have to increase the size of this map. But we're going to need eight paper uh, in order to increase the size of this map. But you know what, guys? I'm super chill today. I'm not worrying about nothing, man. I just want to sit back, relax, play some Minecraft with you guys, do a bit of exploring, see what we can find out here. And, uh, man, I hope you guys out there are having a great freaking day, a great week, uh, wherever you are. 2018 has been a great year so far, guys. Really, really sweet year. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying my time here on YouTube with you guys. 60 freaking episodes in. You know, the honest truth is, guys, I was a little bit concerned when I first started this series, because of course, I'm going to try to find some more sugar cane here. Uh, to start this series, I had to end my old series. And as I mentioned, that series was going on for 450 plus episodes. And there were people that were watching that series from the very, very beginning, super invested in the series. And I think when we ended that series, quite a quite a few people sort of, um, sort of left us um, because, you know, they, I don't know, I guess they'd been watching so much of that series. They thought, all right, maybe it's time to move on. But what makes me really, really proud and really happy is that in the comment sections of this season, 
I have seen so many of you old Cyber Diggity Dogs out there still watching, still enjoying it. And man, guys, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the continued support. Really appreciate you, man. And listen, you know what? Shall we throw up a little poll on this video? Do we have this flower? I'm not sure. Let's pick it up just in case we don't have it. I'm going to throw up a little poll in the top left-hand corner uh, of this video, guys. I would love to know if you are an old school Cyber Dog or if you're brand new here on the Ren Dog channel. And by brand new, I mean if you've joined us here for this season uh, or this brand new series. And uh, yeah, let me know in the poll, man. I'll, I'll be very curious to see how many of you guys are new, how many of you guys are old. And those are some beautiful white horses up there, guys. Look at these gorgeous white horses. Oh my goodness. And I think I've also stumbled across a little bit of village action. Oh, very nice. Okay, this is looking really spicy out here, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Look at these white horses. It's an entire family of pure white horses. Okay, this is very, very interesting. I kind of want to trap one of these horses in a horse hole uh, and maybe come back and get him. Let's try get a horse down there, I think. Uh, one of you guys, I'm very sorry. You're going to be trapped inside of a hole for a while. We're going to come back and get you, okay? Can you please get your cute little horse butt in that hole? There we go. Okay. Oh, that horse is glorious. <laughs> these horses, you guys don't have opposable thumbs, so you're not going to be able to help this one. Uh, but that's amazing. Oh, Maximus is so jealous, my dude. I Listen, I love you, Maximus. Don't you worry. We're just going to get him back, okay? He can be the horse of, of uh, I don't know, Gotho or something. Um, shall we plant a little bit of sugarcane over here? How much paper are we going to get from six sugarcane? Maybe we'll get enough paper. Let's have a look here. We should get about six sugarcane and I just used all the sugarcane so I can't replant it. Nice. Good job there, Ren. We're going to have to find a bit more sugarcane over here. We got a village. Looks like a mushroom village of some kind. Oh, wow. There are so many horses around here. Ooh, is there a pitch black horse here too? That would actually be pretty cool, right? To get a pitch black horse and uh, a pitch white horse. Pitch white? Is that how you describe it? <laughs> I have no idea. Lightning white? I don't know. Let's pick up some of these ox eyes, actually. We need a few of those. And uh, let's still keep on doing a bit of exploring. I really wish I didn't use all of that freaking sugar cane there. We're going to go check out that village in a moment, guys. I just want to have a look if there's any more sugar cane up in this business. Man. Look at this giant open plain over here, though, looking glorious, right? There's some sugar cane over there, I think, yeah. <laughs> so let's head over there and collect that. Well, so far, been a pretty lucrative little exploration here, guys. Found ourselves a beautiful pitch white horse. I'm just going to use pitch white. I think it's a fairly decent way to put it. Got a beautiful little bay over here also, nice bay area. I'm kind of a bit disorientated right now. I'm not entirely sure where we are. But uh, it's looking really nice out here. And actually, that's going to be enough sugarcane now uh, to make a bigger version of this map. So that's pretty sweet. But I tell you what, let's go plant the sugarcane and uh, we'll explore that village while the sugarcane grows. And maybe we can make an even bigger map of this area. Uh, but yeah, look at this area, though. Isn't this beautiful? So much open space for a potential village or potential city. Oh, man, this is so sweet. You know, I think exploring in Minecraft is a really important thing to do. I think, especially over time, a lot of Minecraft players have sort of given up on exploring. They kind of find the place where they want to live. And that's where they chill for the majority of their life in their Minecraft world. And I don't know, man. I get so much inspiration just from looking around. Even if we find a place that inspires us. I mean, look at the mountains around here. This is a really gorgeous area uh, for some sort of a kingdom. I really like that. Uh, even if we don't like follow up on our plans, we still get inspiration that we might use somewhere else, right? Uh, and that's the most important thing, I think. Oh my goodness, look how weird this village is. Jeez. <laughs> that villager has been stuck in that house for eternity, if there is indeed a villager up there. Uh, let's plant some sugar cane here uh, in this little village. And it's, th there's some squiddage up in here, man. You know what? We actually need a bit of ink right now. I don't have a lot of ink back at the base. And we don't really use ink for much other than for dyeing stuff. But we can make uh, books out of ink. Uh, in that what books and what's it called a book and quill i think is what it's called rain dog your brain is melted right now guys i had an absolutely insane stream last night 
uh, playing a game called Day or Billions. And man, it was crazy. My brain's feeling a little bit fried right now. Uh, but check this out. We've got this lead that I showed you, right? And one of the problems that we've had in the past, uh, especially when we've been exploring with Maximus, is Maximus kind of goes on his own little mission sometimes, doesn't he? He just wanders off into the unknown. We almost lost him in the swamp land at some point. But with the lead, we can actually do something pretty interesting over here. Check this out, right? Let's make a few more planks and uh, let's make some sticks and let's make some birch fences. What we can do with this lead is we can actually, um, we can hold Maximus in his place. We stick the lead on Maximus's beautiful little face, stick it on <laughs> the fence post, and now Maximus can't go wandering. You cannot go wandering, my little dude. He's a bit of an explorer at heart, okay? Just like me. He likes to look around the place a little bit. Um, let's get a few more blocks in our inventory over here. Wasn't very prepared with the block action, right? But yeah, that's fine. We'll just collect a little bit of dirt. But yeah, you know, this is the part of Minecraft, I think, that, I don't know, it's one of the most neglected parts of Minecraft, I think, just exploring. And I think the reason for that is because the game is getting pretty old. Now it's about six or seven years old and pretty much, uh, you know, everybody who's played the game for a long time has seen everything that there is to see. And uh, hello, he's free. <laughs> Check how happy he is. As he's like, I've been released from my prison. Oh, hello there, cleric. What's happening, my dude? All right, so we've got a couple of interesting villages in here. I guess what we want to do is... That was very rude. That was extremely rude. I mean, I rescue you. You've been trapped in this house for... Yeah, you're trapped here by this tree. And I rescue you and you close the door on my face. Was that really necessary, my dude? You know what? I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to give you a very firm slap. Hopefully, you'll learn your lesson from that. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can find some... Um, I guess we need to find some librarians, right? We're currently on the mission to find a villager that trades mending books for us. So... This might be a good opportunity. This village is such a mess, though. My goodness, it's almost impossible to freaking traverse around this area. Uh, here's the church. Is there a blacksmith in here? Ooh, hello. I think this is a weaponsmith. Oh, an armorer? That's pretty sweet. I think this is the blacksmith down here, right? Yes, all right. There should be a chest in here. A couple of fern eyes, too. Let's have a look. There might be something spicy in this chest. Oh, ender gods, give us something sweet. Kaplam, and we get a bit of iron horse armor, one iron ingot, and some bread. Nice. Couple of apples, too. I guess we'll take it. Not exactly the most exciting blacksmith uh, chest that I've ever seen in Minecraft, but hey, you know what? I'm not going to complain. It's Monday. I'm chilling. And uh, here is the library house. I don't even know what to call this house. Oh, is this a librarian? Oh, this is a cartographer. We got one of those already. Uh, but what I like to do when I find these villages is harvest the books, right? Because books are fairly expensive. Needs a lot of sugar cane to make books and a little bit of leather too. So I like to harvest there. <laughs> You're also trapped. Don't worry, my dude. I'll let you free. Randog is the savior of this town. It's these freaking nitwits, isn't it? I'm telling you, man. These nitwits have been trapping their friends up in these houses for months on end. You guys are absolute maniacs, man. Trapping all of your buddies uh, inside of these houses. What's wrong with you, freaking nitwits? Uh, I'm kind of tempted to kill them, but I won't. Look, there's another nitwit in there also. Wow. This is actually a very large village, isn't it? There's quite a few. Ooh, oh, look how cute this little baby is. The legs are kind of out of proportion, though, right? <laughs> The legs look like like telescopes or something. Very strange. Uh, how do we get into this little house? Okay, we can get in over here. Little chicken in this dude's... Okay, hold on. Let's just get rid of this fence over here. That's blocking us. Chicken hanging out in his backyard. Very nice. Who are you? You're a leather worker. Good. Are you also trapped? Uh, kind of. You've got a little bit of a fall over here. Don't worry. Randog's here to help you, my dude. There you go. You've got a little ladder to get yourself out of there. There's also a giant ravine around this uh, village, which is probably rather terrifying for the villagers. Uh, what's going on in there? there? There seems to be some funny business happening in here. E excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Yes. This is a family-friendly channel. Can you take your business maybe into the giant ravine? That would be very much appreciated. Um... Also, don't get any funny ideas. I'm going to sleep in your house right now, okay? The sun's going down. Freaking villagers, man. These nitwits. Let me get a sip of this tasty beverage over here, guys. Mm. Oh, man. All right. Beautiful. So this is a great little village. I don't think there's any uh, librarians in here that I can see. Nothing too interesting for us to take out of this particular village, unfortunately. But it's a pretty interesting one. Uh, I like how it looks and how it's spawned. We've got all of the crops already, including beetroot and stuff. So we don't need to pillage their beetroot. Um, but 
I would very much like to continue doing our exploring. I wonder how our sugarcane is going. Do we have enough sugarcane now to expand this map? Uh, where did I plant that jazz, man? I think it's around the corner over here, right? Yeah. I mean, this village is like... I don't think there's anything we could do with it. I think it's just too much of a mess to actually do anything with at this moment. Hello, Maximus. What is happening? You know what? I think we're going to have enough sugarcane uh, to upgrade our map here anyway. So let's do that, okay? So let's make some more paper. Oh, we actually need three sugarcane for this. All right. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, we need three sugarcane to make two bits of paper. So I guess I'm going to hang out here for a while, guys. Wait for my sugarcane to grow. Maybe I'll try to go find some more. And, and we shall continue on this Monday morning Minecraft exploration of awesomeness. Well, we seem to be attracted some attention out here guys the clerics come to have a look at what's cracking down here are you the mayor of this town don't worry i'm not getting up to any funny business they've heard the rumors of kidnapping right they know that there's some maniac riding around on a donkey kidnapping villagers from villages <laughs> don't worry my dude none of your villages are good enough for kidnapping so get out of here get your isn't this the guy that closed the door on us get out of here dude you stupid idiot um, anyway, let's upgrade our map a bit here, guys. Where is it? Is this the map? Which one is it? we got to do the right one. Yeah, it's this one in the hot bar. Okay, so map in the middle, paper around. That's going to expand its range a little bit. Let's have a look how much bigger that makes it. Uh, okay, so that's kind of gone to the west, it seems like it. That's going this way, is it? I think... Um, it's unclear. I don't really know how to navigate maps very well, so let's see if we can do this without too much derpage. This is going to go north. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Uh, all right, village. Oh, bet we're pretty much trapped over here, though, aren't we? Maximus, are you going to be able to climb this mountain? You might be a little bit too chunky to get up here, though. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to help you out a little bit here, guys. Traveling with donkeys and horses in Minecraft is, well, tricky at the best of times, to be honest with you, but super fun nonetheless. There we go. We're going to have to make a little passageway here, a little donkey passage. Uh, can he jump up here? Oh, no. All right. That didn't quite work out. We probably have to go around the corner. Maybe that will be a little bit easier. All right, Maximus. Let's go, my son. We're going to take this the, the nice, easy route around the corner. Hello, sheeps. What's happening? A couple of dyed sheeps there, too, which is kind of curious. So many horses out here, right? This is like the horse biome uh, of epic proportions. Let's take one of these crafting tables with us too, right? This is going to be the way for us to get up here, I think. Leap, Maximus, leap, my dude. There we go. Okay, so if we travel in this direction, I think we'll get back on the map. This is going a little bit north. So we got a little bit more map to explore here, guys. Let's see what we can find there. There's got to be something out here that we can take back. So far, we found a white horse. We found a little bit more sugarcane, actually. Let's pick that up. We might want to expand our map again. Uh, we've also found some new flowers. I don't think we have these flowers, right? Which ones are they? The lilacs? I don't think we have lilacs at the moment. So that's a pretty decent find. Uh, but I would very much like to find a llama. Uh, we found something that began with L, so that's a good a good start, but not quite what we're looking for, right? We're looking for llama action, <laughs> not for lilac action. Let's make a little bridge for Maximus over there, and uh, let's keep on heading in this direction, see what we can uncover. Another pretty beautiful part of the world here, looking pretty nice. No oceans, at least, are being loaded, so nothing is going to get broken for the aquatic update. And more horses. This is horse country, guys. Jeez. So much equestrian goodness around this place. Absolutely crazy how many horses are out here. <gasps> There's more wolves out here. A couple of dogs. Oh, nice. Very nice. There's a pack of wolves out here. Man, we don't have any bones, though, so we won't be able to pick up another pet horse here, unfortunately. I'm thinking maybe what we should do is expand this map again and see what's going on around here. So maybe what I'll do, let's head to the bottom corner of the map there, because uh, there's a little bit more to discover. At least we know there's wolves out here, right? Which is pretty sweet. If someone could print screen this for me, that would be great. <laughs> Actually, I can do it myself. There we go. <laughs> so we can try to find our way back here. Uh, anything else down here? Just more horses, more meandering rivers, which, are, which is pretty awesome. I think what I'm going to do is plant a little bit more sugarcane here, let this grow, and uh, expand this map one more time. And uh, what's, oh, that's the village there in the top right-hand corner, right? Yeah, let's have a look. Have I missed anything that's interesting? Oh, a pitch black horse. <gasps> wow, look at this freaking horse, man. That is an absolutely glorious steed right there. Man, we're not allowed to use F3 in this series, by the way, if you are new, because we're trying to keep this as survival as possible. 
but that is one of the most awesome horses that I think I've ever seen in this game before. I don't think I've ever got a pitch black horse like this. Get in the hole, dude. Get in the hole. Okay, we need to remember this map now, guys. That's all we need to do. Hold on, let's have a look at it in full view. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, hello. Oh, we got something in the off hand there. Okay, so kind of in the middle, south, middle, on the meandering river is the pitch black horse. The pitch white horse is over at the village. At Maximus is, <laughs> he's not happy. <laughs> but dude, listen, he, the black horse is amazing, but you're more handsome, okay? You're the handsomest of all the equestrians that we found, my dude. Please don't hate me, Maximus. Please don't hate me, dude. <sighs> Truly one of the most enjoyable things to do in Minecraft, guys. Watching sugarcane grow. Am I right? It's taken forever, my friends. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with this sugarcane, but it has taken an age to grow. So I went on a bit of an exploration that way to get some more. Got 18 in the belly. I've also been picking some flowers and uh, getting some ink juice in my belly too. Been uh, farming the native lake squid here <laughs> for these delicious ink sacks. Got 51 of those so far. And actually down there, I see something quite useful. This is clay, and uh, this is kind of difficult to find. You've got to go and find it in water. So while we're here, let's pick this up. It's been a kind of an interesting journey of exploration. We've d done a little bit of resource gathering out here, haven't we? <laughs> We've picked up a few uh, resources that we don't have back at the Mole Shires. It's been pretty good. Uh, but I do want to expand this map and have one final look if we can find a llama. If not, we're going to drag this beautiful black horse back to the Moleshire. Uh, but it looks like the sun is about to set here on this plains. And yeah, this certainly is horse country, man. It is beautiful. Maximus, you feeling okay there, my brother? I hope you're not too angry with me, but dude, you, you just need to relax, okay? Jeez, I still love you, man. Anyway, let's make a bunch of paper. Let's upgrade this map one more time. Is this the map that we need to do? Uh, yeah, that's the map that we need to do. All right, let's see what else there is around here. Let's do one more zoom out on the map. A boom. And let's have a look at that. Okay, so a little bit more for us to explore here. Maximus, you up for it, my dude? Let's head, I guess, this way is where it wants us to go. Um, Maximus, dude, are, are you okay? What, what What's happening here, man? Uh, let's put that in the off hand, actually. It seems to be bugging out a little bit. There we go. That's Oh, there's dogs here, too. Okay, so we know that at the bottom of this map, which is map 16, there are a bunch of dogs and a ridiculous amount of horses and a black horse. So we'll be able to get there quite easily, I think. And we're back here onto this plains. I think we had a look at this already, but I don't know where this map has zoomed out to. It might have zoomed out all the way back to the Moleshire, actually. Um, so what I guess we should do is just do a little bit of scouting around here, see if I can find anything. Guys, if I find anything interesting, there's that village over there uh, on our right-hand side. If I find anything, I'll bring you back again. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of plains that we ran across in the beginning, isn't it? All right, let me get this map uncovered, guys. Let's see what we're cooking with out here. Well, guys, that's the entire map revealed, and I can honestly say that I don't think I've ever seen so many horses in one area of Minecraft in my entire life. All over this map are horses. There must be a hundred horses around us which is pretty ridiculous and uh, I think we got pretty lucky finding one of the most beautiful horses that I think you can get in this game I mean look how insane this horse is Maximus is trying to push me away from him oh he is absolutely amazing I'm kind of curious also to see whether this map is going to connect up with our other map um, I don't know if they're zoomed out at the same level but that is something that I wanted to try out over here before we head back home uh, this is the Moleshire map over here right so if we put this in an item frame I think that's what we'd need to do uh, I don't know if they're going to connect up I think they're going to connect up I'm not entirely sure I don't have any leather though so I can't put them back together um, unfortunately but I guess we could try that back at the Moleshire for now we're going to have to try and get this black horse back home and that's going to be kind of tricky I guess we have to go south I think the mole hole is in that direction, right? Because if we look at the mole hole map in this hand, um, we are currently at the very north of that map on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, we're at the south of that map. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to go south to make this happen. And for that to happen also, we're going to have to drag this horse back across rivers and stuff, which is going to be a little bit tricky. We're going to have to make a couple of uh, horse bridges out here for Maximus and the brand new, beautiful, beautiful horse. I think we uh, already had one over here right but yeah leading animals isn't exactly the easiest thing to do guys so there might be some face palms incoming but 
let's give this a go. Uh, where is Maximus? There he is. Okay, are they making friends? Are you guys making friends? Oh, that's glorious, Maximus. I'm super happy about that. Hang on, you're not you're not the one that gets led. Uh, you're the one that gets ridden. And I, yeah, there we go. All right, so the black horse is going to follow us. <laughs> Look at him. He's so proud. He's such a proud horse. Oh, man. All right. So we're going to have to go south, I think. Traverse our way through all of this dangerous territory over here um, and see if we can get the horse back. There he goes. You can't run too quickly also because if the lead gets too long, it will break. And uh, it's a little bit of a tedious task dragging animals back like this. But it's one of the few ways we have in Minecraft to get animals from from the uh, outside of the world into our bases. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, this is the way that we have to do it. And, yeah, the lead will keep on on your hand, even if you break blocks and stuff. So that's cool. And, yeah, I guess we've got to try traverse through this forest. Oh, my goodness. Look at him getting stuck down there, right? Jeez. Okay. You want to go this way? This way? No. Nope. You're stuck behind the tree. Okay. That's fine. Follow me, black horse. Follow me. We'll, we'll get there one way or another, okay? Jeez. Now, looking at the Moleshire map, guys, we can see our little cursor there in the top left-hand corner. So, we are in the right area, which is great. We're kind of trapped by leaves, though. The sheep is just laughing at me right now. Sheep, get out of the way, dude. Equestrians in transit. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, so, now all we got to do is make our way back to the Moleshire, keep this horse alive. Uh, also, I don't think I brought that bed with me, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so we're going to have to get back pretty quick, fast, in a freaking hurry up in here, man. The sun is going to go down pretty soon. And I'm not sure if I can protect these two horses or this donkey and this horse from any undead shenanigans. Uh, but yeah, a couple of rivers and whatnot to traverse here, which makes life a little bit tricky. Let's put that new map in the offhand. And hopefully the horse is following us right now across the bridge. Here we go. Maximus, you're doing a great job, my dude. Don't mind the squid. It's fine. Welcome to the Moleshire, Black Horse. Your new home. If we can get you there, of course. Oh my goodness, guys. The sun is going to go down. Is oh, You took a bit of damage there. Oh, that's bad. Okay, which way do we go here? I don't know. I'm starting to panic right now. Um, we're getting into some dark areas. Into this dark oakwood forest. And yeah, this is where bad things can start happening. Skeletons in particular could spawn out here. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Why did I not bring the bed, Ren? Are you so brand new at this freaking game, man? Jeez. Okay. Uh, the sun is down. I think we probably better get ready for some sleeping. Uh, are there sh enough sheep here to make a bed? Probably not. Um, okay. I think we just have to plug on. Let's just press forward here. Let's get Rambo ready for action. Rambo's going to be able to help us out just in case we get into trouble. The black horse is still with us. And man, how are we going to do this, guys? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Yep. Oh, I hit, I hit Maximus. No, I hit Maximus. Maximus, my dude. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. This is, this is very bad right now, guys. This is extremely bad right now. Uh, I am not happy about this. Um, I think I'm going to have to fence post the, the freaking horses right now because th this is just, this is getting too insane. 